How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going to Walmart in search of the items that World War I U.S. Doughboys would have eaten in the trenches. Now some of these items were more rare than others, but we did some research and we're just going to try to find the most common things they would have had access to and we're going to try them out and see like what we think of them. Obviously they're not going to be exactly the same. It's been a hundred years and a lot of the brands changed and all that stuff. It's not going to be 100% accurate, but you'll be able to see some of the stuff they would have eaten in the trenches. And if you wanted to recreate it yourself, you can get these items and you could package them up really nicely and make them look accurate. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to Walmart and see what we can find. Mavic, what are you doing today? We are making the delicious, delectable plates that people would eat or trying not to die in the first world war. In the trench is the US Doughboy like typical rash. They had a few items, we looked it up, we did some research and the two main things I saw were a form of canned meat and hard bread. From my research, a lot of the cans have changed, some just haven't. So we're gonna go to the corned beef. Apparently this trapezoidal can is uh, what they had back in the day. It's, gonna, it, dude, it's even got the little key ring. Yeah, this is like yeah. old fashioned as heck. Look at that. Okay, Take that off which one should we get? The freaking six dollar one or the the oh, four dollar one? A United States military meal, so they were gonna give them the cheaper one. You're right. All right, we'll get the cheap one. This is a U.S. Army. I say two. Right. Yeah, one one for a mistake. Yes. So we have now the other meat we can get is uh, salmon, canned yeah. salmon. We need canned salmon, Maverick. <laughs> we need canned salmon. He caught me mewing. Mew, Maverick. Damn. <laughs> Shit. All right, Maverick, where is the freaking canned salmon? I know there's canned salmon around here somewhere. Um, Maverick. That just makes it uh, more accurate. More enough? accurate. Right. Dude, I'm not seeing salmon for the love of me. I need some salmon. Uh, I see this, but it's not in a can. Oh, there, there, there. That is the salmon. All right, we got red sockeye salmon. And we got honey. Bro, look at all these different cans. This one is something they'd probably have back in the day. Honey Boy Red Salmon. I bet you at least one of these companies has been operational since the first one. This one's almost half the price too. And then there's this. Ooh, uh, just so you know, Starkist. This is in the uh, the tuna MRE that the modern army uses. It's Max. I love Starkist. Should we get these two? Yes. Starkist, way to go. Now we have two salmons. Now we need some bread. Maverick, where is Salt the one. unsalted saltines? Because this is the kind of crackers they would have got. Are unsalted saltines apparently. So. Yeah. Uh, we need to find those. I just don't know where the cracker section is. And they got canned tomatoes. That's another thing. Eat While we're here, so Maverick is gonna be eating this. No, I canned tomatoes. These are his favorite. Apparently, I will straight up eat this raw before I eat a tomato. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll get the canned tomatoes because apparently these were popular. Yeah. And Maverick would love them. I hate tomatoes. Which one should we get? The uh, the cheap ones? The cheap unsalted crackers. See, this is all we need. There you go. So this is the crackers the Doughboys would have had. Supposedly. Basket. Uh, you're probably right. We'll probably get one more item. Was there anything else that you remember that they had? We can't really make the self-heating ham, can we? They're issued with uh, um, cigarettes, so we need to get those. And Maverick, you need to smoke it. Uh, if, we, if you do that, you have to get Lucky Stripe, because that was the brand that would be in the MREs. Or the, what are they called? Type uh, K Rash. We need cigarettes, we need gum, and a candy. Gum? Gum would have been in there? And a K Rash? Wiggly? I mean, they all came out early, apparently. All right, M Maverick, M what is that, World War II? m and they got popular because of World War II. All right, what did they have in World War I? We're standing right in front of it. They had gum. What candy? Probably a Hershey's. It's like the oldest Hershey chocolate. Hershey bars, yes, are possible. But another thing is that's almost originally accurate is, guess. I know it's not a Kinder. It's a Hershey. Kisses, kiss, kiss. All right, Maverick, grab <laughs> Grab this one. I think what we need is the uncolored tin, and we're gonna have to take the kisses um, wrapper off. Wrapper of off. We, as long as we got the tin, we're good. Guys, that was that is perfect, Maverick. Perfect. Now we just need gum, and that's about it. Maverick has found the canned peaches, which was another staple of their um, ration. And a little trivia question: If you can guess which state has a staple of peaches, you get a POB. If you guess Georgia. You'd be correct. Give yourself a POV. What is a POV? POB, pat on the back. <laughs> pat on back. POB. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up, get the gum, and get out of here. All right, all out. Mavin? 
Yay, Peterson! Are you ready? I need to fold what? What is this? Are you like a wizard, doughboy, or something? No, I'm fireball! <laughs> fireball! 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 <laughs> Alright, anyways guys, we have a few uh, food items that you might have seen in the U.S. Doughboys trenches. We got saltine crackers, peaches, uh, red salmon, pink sa wait, what the? Okay, one is red salmon and one is pink salmon. I thought they are the same. I don't know what color salmon they had in the trenches, to be honest. It's probably pink salmon, but we got a red one and a pink one. Maverick's favorite, diced tomatoes. Thank you. And then we got two things of corned beef, which is awesome. And we got some uh, gum, because those were these these flavors were both invented in 1893. And they were both invented by Wrigley's. Yep. Another thing is these Hershey Kishes. Now, the reason we got the silver wrapped is because these were developed in 1907, I believe. Yes. And they were wrapped with silver. However, back in the day, you know, the Doughboys would have had these. They, uh, they didn't have the little uh, paper thing in them, so it was just a wrap little kiss. I don't think the paper thing came out until like 1967. Well, I think that's then. that's the colored tins. It might be a little bit, I think 1921, maybe? I don't know, we'd have to look at the thing. But supposedly nobody knows what why they're called kisses, but apparently like the uh, chocolate machine would make a kissing sound when it would bump these out. Fun fact. <laughs> Very fun. I actually cannot wait to try this corned beef. All right, Maverick, what should we have first? Because usually they'd get like crackers, and meat. That seems like the most basic thing they would do. I say, let's try that. All right, we got our forks. World War One forks, let's stick them right here. We got a little mess tin from 1918. All right, so we're having uh, crackers and corned beef. Corned beef? Get our crackers out. Make sure these are unsalted. The website we used, which is really good and supportive of all this information, pretty much told us everything. We'll link it in the description if you wanna check it out. Crackers, corned beef, so you get this little tab, get it right here. Now one thing I heard is you could print labels, like old fashioned labels to get, get it more accurate. Yeah, we're gonna peel this open and have us some corned beef. I did not know that's how it worked. That's kinda of sick. Cause you're a German maverick. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're the just... only time I see these types of things is when the Canadians throw it over. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate Canadians. All right, take the tab out and bam. Ooh. As gross as canned beef, or yeah, canned beef. It smells like cat food. <laughs> looks, it's actually pretty tasty. Do you know which type of corned beef you're talking about, right? Maverick. Oh, corned beef. There's two types. There's the good corned beef that mother makes, and then there's this. Uh, I, I like either one, though I will prefer mother makes. Maverick, I'm going to give you the first try. All right, we're gonna actually do this and we're gonna be a little fancy with it. I'm gonna take a cracker. Oh, you're genius, exactly ah, what I was saying. Look at that, yeah. that actually looks like a nice little treat. Mm-hmm, pour a little bit of that Dude, on try there. try some corned beef alone first, just to get the full taste of it. <laughs> Let's try it. It's good, I like corned beef, so. Now slap it on the cracker and try, let's see that. Good? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna try it. So I remember I had this during the airsoft battles and I don't, only really liked it. Ooh. <laughs> Still don't. <laughs> Haven't tried it in a long time. Mm. I think it's just so salty. It's probably even worse back in the day because they just kind of mixed whatever meats together. Crack your helms out a bit. I bet you no one cared about how it tasted as long as it was fulfilling. I'm gonna have another one. I was having another one. Making me a little sandwich. Loves this stuff. Well, you can have this other can for me. Why did we get two? Mm. Did I really think we're gonna eat two of these? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get that to take that home, Maverick. <laughs> Gosh! You know what, how about we try some crackers mm -hmm. and some Wiggly's Juicy Fruit? Mm. <laughs> Would that be a good deal, Maverick? Mm. We got diced tomatoes up next. Mm. No. <laughs> Maverick says no to diced potatoes. We can do the tomatoes. I'm just not going to enjoy it, but I'll suck it up. I will try one diced tomato. For those that don't know, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. Pearson is though, aren't you? Mm. Great, I have a defective can opener. <laughs> what the flip? Um, what the flip? I guess I could do it this way. <laughs> like literally the gearing is broke or something. Well, maybe I'm not doing it right. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't have it tight enough so the gears didn't work together. We stay intelligent at the country tech. Tomato? Mm. Oh mm. my god, I hate it. Ugh. All right, let's get to try this, Maverick. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. Pretend you're a doughboy in the trenches and you gotta eat it. Oh, I'm, I'm so I'm sure hungry. nobody cared how it ate. Or, yeah. it ate right? <laughs> oh man, I'm so hungry. I got this. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, okay. Um, oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Yo, Maverick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that bro, destroyed him. Honestly, I have no opinion on these right these diced tomatoes. I've never had these, so. Ah. I like fresh tomatoes. If these were fresh and they had pepper on them. The only I mm. think tomato is great in cooking, but just just straight tomato? No. Like some nepales with some tomatoes in it. All right, it's growing on me. But I much prefer fresh tomatoes with pepper. I think I forgot to bring is a condiment scan. They had uh, sugar, salt, and coffee in them. Really? Yeah. Oh, they have that in modern MREs as well. It's a little can. I'll show a picture of it. I used it in one of the um, survival videos, but I had coffee, sugar, and salt in it. So sugar's on one side, a big thing of it, and then coffee's on one side, a big thing of it, and then salt is... Mmm, look at this. this. You might like it after this. Nah. Nah. Oh. It's too much tomato. Tomato. We're not wasting food, we're turning nutrients to the ground. Yep. Ooh, now we got tuna up next. So they, instead of corned beef, they could have got tuna. That's not tuna, that's salmon. I mean, yeah, salmon, salmon, my bad. Maverick, why is there pink salmon? Eat. And why is there red salmon? What's the difference? Uh, one's pink and one's red. Fancy Alaskan sockeye and pink salmon. Is pink salmon in Alaska? Your Mrs. Wild Alaskan pink salmon. Oh, so they're both just, they're just different versions of All right, we'll see, we'll salmon. see if they're different colors. This is a big question now. Mm-hmm. Huh? I know it. When I slapped it down, it <laughs> sounded weird, right? <laughs> All right, let's, let's see this. Oh, that's a lot of juice, dude. Don't get a whiff of that here. Oh, Turn your oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> you. Oh my god! I thought it was just gonna be like little salmon. Or I guess salmon is too big. Salmon's are actually. You, I, I didn't. Maverick. Uh, what is that, dude? Oh no. <laughs> Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh no. Oh no. One no. US no. Dude, it's meal. got the gal it's got the, the, the it's still got the scales on it. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be like little anchovies or something, you know? Yeah, I thought that was gonna be different. I didn't know it was just a chunk of salmon. Oh, can you eat salmon raw? I don't know. I mean bears do it. Yeah. It should be fine. And we all know Pearson's a bear. Okay, there's not that much. There's a lot of juice. Um, oh, uh, no, it's it's about the same thing. This is the pink salmon. That's the red one. That one's pink. Come on now. This one's tan. Oh my god. All right. Uh, no, don't get it in the juice. Maverick, this uh, is a World War One doughboy meal. Oh my God, Maverick, we're gonna look up picture. pictures and we're gonna find like they wouldn't eat this e either. All right. Just be like, oh, good God, I'm right. sure it doesn't taste. Tanama that bad. dough. This one's a red salmon. I want to try this one. I bet you it doesn't taste. Bro, that look bad. how red that is. Like I opened it up, looks really red. Yeah. This one almost looks good. It's so red. Let me oh. let me look up if it's safe to eat this raw. I'm guessing it's not that bad, is it? Let's see if it's cooked. Yeah, salmon is a food that you can eat raw. So, red salmon was not that bad. Let's try pink. I bet you it just kind of tastes like. Hmm. It's really not bad. Yeah. Even though it looks awful. Yeah, like my favorite MRE to eat was always the tuna. So I feel like this isn't salmon. gonna be bad. Yeah. It just looks gross. All right, to Mevenheimer. All right. Blue one dough boy in the trenches. That's a big meal for one dough boy. <laughs> big meal for Big Mav. It's actually pretty good. I like that one too. It just tastes like tuna. Or, not tuna. Definitely has more of a flavor than tuna. Yeah. I need to try it with a cracker, honestly. Mm -hmm. Cracker. Mmm. Right? It's really not bad. It just looks disgusting. We got the trench pup. He wants to, he said he wants to try what the doughboys would have had in the trenches. Right, oh. but, but he was like, "Ooh, come here, trench dog." He was like, "Ooh, uh. yummy, yummy!" Oh, look at the good so boy. Cute. What do you think, Anzac? Give some feedback. Come on, Anzac. <laughs> He's lost in the sauce, boy. That, he loved it too much. You're like, dang, I think that means it's good. That's how they probably would have actually eaten it in the trenches. Yeah, <laughs> this is an accurate representation. Look at that dog done Now, he's enjoying it. We're gonna try some sliced peach. This is also one of Maverick's favorites. He's been waiting to dig I it. will throw up. I'll try it, but I will throw up. <laughs> okay. I'm willing to bet I will throw up at Maverick, this. Maverick, I, there's no way somebody's gonna throw up over delicious pieces. This is like, besides the candy, this is a like luxury to have in the trenches. Like, you would love this if you're a doughboy. You'd be like, Shit. No, I'd trade it for more canned beef. 
I say canned beef, corned. That's crazy you would trade this for that shit. Dude, corned beef is good. Can't Peaches are Watch, like- Watch, Anzac's gonna try some of this and he's gonna be like, ew. Peaches are, is God's way of saying we are Watch lost, it. truly. I have to dig this out with my freaking hands. So gelat- Anzac, stop eating so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, this is awful. It's not bad. I mean, you're supposed to cook corned beef, so... No. I mean, they would have eaten it raw, but if they had the chance, they probably would have cooked it with maybe some, like, stew. would have had heater or something to at least heat it with. Here, pup, you like corned beef? Let's see. Hell no. Watch, no, look at throw that. up. Look at that. Anzac is a man of the people. He knows that corned beef is delicious. He knows salmon is delicious. Damn, he really does like it. Yeah. yeah. No. Right, Anzac it. is literally me. Oh, God. Oh, oh look how, like, these are beautiful. Peaches. Uh, huh. oh, oh. These look so good. I'm like, my stomach is actually, like, churning right now at this. Look at this. Uh, mm. oh. I don't know how you do that. This is amazing, dude. Uh, uh. Okay, I I might live stream this and make like a poll. Are peaches bad? Actually, just leave it in the comments below. Are peaches bad? Like for real? Like what does the uh, audience think? Peaches are like the best thing ever. Like with the tomato thing, like yeah, I'd rather not eat it, but I can eat tomatoes. Peaches? That's on, crazy. On the other hand, like I spit out the tomato because I really didn't like the taste. This, oh my God. Never, I'm destroying these. I am so scared. All right, let's see it, mom. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. This will be the first time I've had a peach in my mouth in almost... Dude, what if your taste changed? This will be the first time in one and a half decade I've had a peach in my mouth. 15 years. You might you might have changed. You might have changed. I believe Maverick... This is a big reveal, actually. Because Maverick hasn't had these in so long. Just don't think about it. No oh bias, don't think about it. Maverick, that's bullshit. There's no way... Oh my god. Maverick, you didn't even try it. Just don't think uh. about it. It's not that bad. Think it's not that bad. Uh. Just like mentally think it's not that bad. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy! <laughs> I've never. Oh, uh, fucking. Mm, uh, these are delicious, guy. That's crazy. You don't like peaches. If you don't like peaches, you best be unsubscribing because I love peaches. Yeah, peaches are great. Anzac. I bet Anzac likes it. Pup, move. I <laughs> see him. He likes peaches. You like peaches, boy? No. Oh God, well, Anzac doesn't like peaches either, so that's two versus dude, Anzac one. and I are the same, dude, I'm telling you. Ugh. Oh, dude, I actually had to fight back. Fight back tears? Tears, vomit, all of it. I was for real. Like, whenever I just, when I bit into it, I had the flavor in my mouth. I was like, I could feel it coming up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's bad then. <laughs> We're gonna send pictures of you in black and white photos eating peaches. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what the fan base does. Uh, all right, Maverick, I got something to cheer you up. Is it the winning lottery ticket? So we got, we say the best for last. Now this would have been more, more of a sweet treat. Yeah, more of a rarity to have. You probably trade these as well, I would assume. But we got Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. I had no idea this was invented in 1893. Yeah. Like this is such a unique flavor. And, and I love, got, I've, I, I love it. Let's try this one first. Actually, you know what? Big League Chew's my favorite. I'm a big gum chewer. I, I have gum in my mouth a lot. Tell my jawline is so sharp. Yeah. That and amazing genetics. Chad Brick. Comment Chad Brick below. That smells good. So that much better. Amazing. I'm actually about to put my hands in the water because my hands still smell like peaches. <laughs> I just worry I'd... about salmon. You, mine's do too. Smell like peaches and salmon? I smell like corned beef actually because I dug my hand in there. <laughs> <clears throat> hey yo, you got some extra gum? <laughs> the kid in class. Okay, wasn't funny. <laughs> oh man! You got them? Oh, I love yeah. I love Wrigley. I haven't had this in a long time. It's yeah. so good. It tastes like childhood. I don't know. Does Wrigley's put um dye in their gum? Do you know? Surely they do. Surely. Who's cute? Who's a cute dog? We need an like and subscribe for pup. Like and subscribe for pup. Oh man, now cleanse the palate. <laughs> now time for some mint. Got the other flavor they may have had. Double mint smells good too. I wonder mm -hmm. why it's called double mint, y'all know? Double the mint. I guess so. I don't know. Double the trouble. Typical good mint flavor. Yeah. That's mint. <laughs> 
Hey, Zay, what are you doing? He said, this is my channel now, boys. He's like watching. He's watching for Jerry. You scanning for them Germans, hey? These boys looking out. What no, fact? Chocolate's delicious. Oh yeah, classic. This would be a rarity if you got your hands on it. So, from what I heard is like 1907 until 1961, I'll put the correct data, but these were all silver from 1907 to 1961. Thank you for the kiss. And during World War One, I, I think until 1921, they didn't have these papers in them. You see these little papers, like the kiss paper? This thing would focus on it. They didn't have this. So if you wanted it to be accurate in the trenches, you would have to take this out. It's pretty simple to do. And it would look. Then you wrap bit, it back up. A little bit more like this. Yeah, this is a World War One. Look how delicious it looks. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. This would have been money in the trenches. Literally entire empires formed because of this. Mm-hmm. Ah! Such a morale booster. You are some more. Mm. And now, after this, we're probably gonna go watch the Chiefs win. Um, Anyone but the Niners. Comment who y'all want to win. <laughs> now this video's gonna be out in like a week <laughs> after the Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl's tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Hershey's Kisses taste better than like Hershey's chocolate bars. Yeah, they do. I don't know why. Yeah, it's the same chocolate. Maybe it's the way it's made or formed or dried or they are really good. They're delicious. I wonder if they taste the same as they did back. Because, you know, people do get mad if flavors change, just like how yeah, Coke yeah. tried to make new Coke. Mm hmm. And then it just ended up tasting like Pepsi. Maverick knows. You had a new Coke. I did. I had a new Coke from Columbia. <clears throat> but, um, for all, everything was good. Yeah, this was a really good video. I enjoyed this, apart from almost throwing up from peaches. It's like a, it's like a World War One mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the, what's the mukbang guy? Uh, Nick, Nick, Nick Avocado. Nick though. Avocado, the man that's shaped like an avocado. I bet you that's actually gonna taste pretty good. Oh, it fell off. The back of these, I just made the cover thing. Hmm. Does Anzac want to kiss? No. Oh! <clears throat> we just had a kiss accident. Frick. Anzac, what do you think of that? <laughs> okay, thanks for the insight, pup. Well, that's pretty much all we have for today. If you guys like this, where's your cute doll? But if you guys like this video, this is something new that we're trying. We haven't done like a, a testing what they would have had because we just kind of pretty much tried everything that they would have had. So you guys could know like the stuff they would have had in the trenches and got a feel for it. We got to taste everything, it was pretty good. So remember, if you liked it, feel free to like and comment down what countries like rations you want us to try next. I think it's fun videos. I liked it. Anytime I get to eat in a video, I'm happy. Ah.